Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. In this video, I'm going to go over and review what is called a risk reversal uh, option strategy. So I'm going to go through the how, why, and when to use this strategy. So it's a really interesting strategy that's a kind of kind of a levered up strategy. It's like owning the actual underlying shares, but at a much reduced cost. So for example, here's Apple. All right, so Apple went out today trading at right here. Let's call it about $115 per share. All right, so if Apple, if you think Apple's going to go up and you want to go long, you you could buy 100 shares of Apple and that would cost you $115 per share and then multiply that times 100 to make it equivalent to uh, one option contract. So what is the cost of buying 100 shares of Apple here then? So if you bought 100 shares here at uh, 115 per share, that would be roughly about $11,500 notional value that you would have to pay out. All right, so if then ap Apple moves up, you know, you could make a good profit, but still you're out of pocket uh, $11,500 for 100 shares. Now, the other way we could do this is using the option strategy called a risk reversal, or you could also think of it as a synthetic long. So let's take a review of that and uh, how it works. So let's take a look at the risk profile of Apple. So here is buying 100 shares of Apple at, you know, uh, $115. So you can see what your, you know, at risk would be. Now this, you can see the delta is 100 because you've got long 100 shares. So here's the risk profile, this line here. So if Apple was to go up, here's my pointer. Let's say Apple goes up to $125. Um, and if it goes to $125, then you're going to make, based on the, you know, per share, you're going to make, a, you're going to be up about uh, almost uh, $998, uh, okay? So close to $1,000. Now, if it goes down, you know, let's say it goes down to $100, then you're going to be down um, about $1,500. Um, now, we can do the same trade and have uh, less risk because we're not going to buy the shares if we do this as a risk reversal or a synthetic long. So all we need to do is, we could go out. So if you think that, you know, go out, usually you want to go out 60 days or 90 days out to take advantage. If you think Apple's going to move to the upside, say 130. So give yourself plenty of time. So in this example, you could go out to the November 20 option series right here. You could go to the November 44 days out. So that you could go to that series or you could go further out if you want it. And all that you're going to need to do is you're going to be wanting to sell a put. Okay. One put or one option is equivalent to 100 shares, right? So you sell one put and then at the same time you buy one call. All right. So what you've done here is what you want to typically do is sell the put is typically at, uh, let's say, a 40 delta or something like that. And then you buy the call a little bit further out of the money. So you can see that uh, Apple here is trading at 115. So you go down and sell that 113 uh, put, something like that, and then buy the 117. So let's take a look at those deltas. So you can see here the 113.75 put going at 690 or 705. That's about a 44 delta. So something like that, because what you want to do is you want to sell the higher price put in order to find that's the call that you buy. So you, say, so you sell this at $697. Let's say you bring in $695 there. And then you turn around and you buy the uh, call. So then you buy this $117.5 call strike price, one option there. That's going for about a 48 delta here. So, you know, you pay about $630, $650. Now, once you do that, you're going to be into this trade for actually a credit. So you can see here you buy that uh, $113.75 or you sell that put. You're going to sell that to finance the call right here, the $117.5. Now you're going to see kind of a flat line here because that's your credit that you received. So in this example here, if you sold 690 and then bought the five, 655, you're actually getting a credit on this trade of what is that $35. So to execute this um, risk reversal, you're actually doing it for a credit of $35. Now, if it goes up to 130 here on this trade, you're going to be up $1,396. You can see the purple over here. That's what it's going to be on the option reverse, uh, the risk reversal. And you can see the underlying uh, stock, you're up about $1,285 because you're getting that credit to go into the trade. Now, if you go down to $100, you're losing $1,400 on the stock. You're losing $1,320 or $1,330. All right, so it's almost exactly the same up or down. Now, when you look at the delta of this, this is about a 92 delta, so very close to like owning 100 shares of the stock. And then if you look at the theta, there's z there's no theta decay. All right, so if you were to do this, just going long the calls, if you went just long that uh, 117 and a half call, you can see you've got a major problem with theta. So you're losing $8, over $8 a day. So by selling that put, you're also offsetting that theta value. So this is a, what's called a synthetic long or a risk reversal, because what you're doing is you're selling the put, the volatility there's higher than the volatility that you're buying on the call. And that's typically the case. And so that's a reverse on the volatility skew. So I hope this helps. And if you'd like to learn more about these types of option strategies and a lot of other ones, make sure to join me at PowerCycleTrading.com. Use the link on this, uh, on this uh, article. And I hope to see you in the future. Good luck trading.